Good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing really, really good, Sag. Thank you for being here. Let's find out what the universe has for the beautiful Sagittarians. Hearing a lot of controversy, people not being able to stop talking about something, Sag. What's going on here, Sag? Someone feels, I don't know, uh, hang on. Releasing allegiance, says Sagittarius, diving for the light. You may have felt like you got played, made a fool of somehow, Sagittarius. It's something bringing something into form, a uh, change. There is some kind of ending here. Or betrayal or a lot of gossip and rumors hurtful words Sagittarius again the owl is here be the hunter not the hunted Something is meant to be. Something is heaven sent. Hmm. I know that this Sagittarius, you could be feeling like you were played. You might be feeling foolish or feeling like people are talking about you, saying hurtful things about you. But whatever this is, is helped you to transform, helped you to change, to bring you into some kind of an awareness. About yourself, about others. You might have felt picked on, Sagittarius. Like, this is releasing allegiances. Okay, let's do it. Clarify this releasing allegiances. You might have to release. A lot of people who you've been associating with Sagittarius, people who you thought had your best interest at heart, um, Clarify this releasing. Yeah, words. Someone jealous, competing, playing the victim once they know that they're losing. There could be a lot of gossip and rumor uh, going on, Sagittarius.
and then someone playing the victim. Once they know that they're losing, there is somebody's ex sending negative energy toward you. Someone seeing that you're getting all this love and they can't stand it. <clears throat> A major copycat, a build a bitch, a wannabe. And I am going to say, and, and a lot of people aren't going to like it, but in some cases, these are low vibrational Sagittarius's as well. High vibe and Sagis, they don't resort to tactics like this. They just don't do it. Uh, they are heaven sent. For you high vibing Sagittarius's, people are going on the attack of you, playing the victim. It's an ex or an ex of an ex sending a negative energy toward you, jealous and in competition with you. And this will go against uh, low vibrational operating Sagittarians as well. It'll go against you. Don't do it. Don't resort to uh, copycat energy and don't resort to uh, a lot of negative gossip or rumors. It'll go against you. It'll it'll backfire. Um, Sagittarius, you were high vibe Sag. It's like be the hunter, not the hunted. So it's almost as if that's what I was talking about before it came up for you, where you switch the roles. You, um, your best defense is your offense. Switch it up on them. They'll back off once they, then they play the victim, right? Then they play the victim that you attack them kind of energy. You know what I'm saying, Saj? You know what I say? Just be you. Be your true authentic self. And if people can't stand it, oh, well. They're just trying to be a major copycat energy, Saj. Gee, Saj. What's going on? Somebody's ex trying to compete with you. You know, turning people against you. This is like childish behavior. And then they go off playing like they're the victim, yet they're the dirt doing the dirty deeds, doing the dirty work. Never be you. Sagittarius, you're heaven sent. But if you're operating in a low uh, vibration, this can be some Sagittarius's. Sag. Look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm and knowing who you are, Sag. Total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, an interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find your life, what your life has been lacking. Adrift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. So somebody's very shallow, you know what I mean? Not appreciating the small things, Saj. A very shallow, shallow-minded energy. It's 
facing your fears, Saj. Yep, setting up parameters. Assess your relationships and determine how they're aligned for your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationship. And I see you looking at how shallow something or someone was. Um, they're being shallow. They're a major copycat. Saj, you are replacing what was lost, the starfish. You now have an opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew, create with a new perspective and outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. I think you are emerging yourself, Sagittarius, in your work. I think that... I do. Someone got lost in the shallows here. Not willing to go deeper, you know what I mean? Not willing to be 100% in. You're either 100% in or 100% out. The shallows, there's nothing there. Sag, you had to surrender. Focusing in on your work, your spirituality. And I, like I said, you could be manifesting a love relationship. You've had to do a lot of learning, thinking for yourself and being individual for personal growth, it's all going to have a happy ending if someone decides to love themselves and persevere. Everything in moderation. Change, Saj. Healing. Being financially disciplined, like submerging yourself. You give 100%. You know, this is spiritual partnership. You're either all in or you're out. <laughs> and I hate being like that, but if you lurk around the shallow waters long enough, you find that there's nothing there. You're looking for a deeper meaning, a deeper commitment, a deeper sense of being. Like when Sagittarius gives of themselves, they give 100%. Whether that is in a love relationship, a spiritual relationship, a financial situation, they give it 100%. You know, they dive deep. They're all in. Once a Sag decides to be all in, they're all in. There's no half, half, half-assed anything. And... You being, you know, somebody can't understand. So a lot of you could be going through inboxing people trying to turn others against you. Ignore these fools. You're too fire for them, Sag. Somebody copycatting. Holy jeez, Saj. I'm using the Muse tarot deck today. I don't know why. I hardly ever use it, but I was asked to use it, so I will. Saj. And I'm going to say, too, 
if you're on like a public uh, platform or something like that, you could have people that are inboxing your followers, trying to get them turned against you. I'm going to say on this platform alone, if any of you guys are getting messages from other people about me, it's not me. Or, you know, a lot of people copy my picture and then start inboxing my followers here. Sag, it's, it's not me. You'll know it's me. I have the tick mark beside my channel name. I can't tell you how many people have fallen for these scams. Be very careful, Sag. I will never reach out to you for a reading or... <laughs> I've gotten hate emails from people that say, you did a reading for me and this didn't happen. Well, I haven't done readings in like two years. I know darn well I didn't do a reading for nobody. I will, no, no, it's not me. Guys, be cautious. Again, rumors, gossip. Haters, Jesus, jealousy and envy. My God, change. You've had strength here. Silence. Hi, priestess. People jealous of this your knowledge, your intuition, your gifts, your strength. I, I don't know, Sag. People spying on you again. It's coming out. Talking about you. Jealousy. Major build a bitch. Copycat. Look. Trying to look like you, be like you, sound like you, act like you. They'll never be you. Your wealth. <laughs> like I said, you're all in 100%. You're focused in on your, um, your business, your financial growth. You've totally submerged yourself in work here. And people are spying on you. Jealous of you. Jealous of your gifts, your finances, your connections, whatever. A page. Come on now. You think a page can compare to a high priestess? It's an ex lover. A lover of a lover. Yep. causing confusion major copycatting energy going on here Saj there's a page here they could well it could be Gemini energy I'm not sure pa uh, Gemini um, with water earth I'm going to tell you right now, Sagittarius, that you have it's a jealous, uh, someone who your person is with is highly jealous of you, um, trying to get others turned against you, talk about you, this is tabloid shit, it's like supermarket crap. An empress. <laughs> High priestess empress. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because they lock. 
Bill the bitch. Someone figures that they can cop you, siphon your wisdom, your knowledge, uh, your intelligence, because they lack. They're in lack. Whoa. So it's almost like they're riding off your shirt tails here, Sagittarius, just to be real. Making money off your knowledge, making money off your wisdom, and it is about money. All about the money. What you do for your work. You're growing, you're having a lot of financial growth, and somebody's like trying to feed off siphon off your freaking energy here and I don't like it and I'm getting fed up with it. I'm going to ask my spirit guides, my holy angels, the archangels to help protect Sagittarius at this time from people trying to siphon their growth. Holy Spirit, I ask that you assist myself the high vibing Sagittarians is siphoning your financial growth. Uh, it's here, Sag. And I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Because you're actually an inspiration to people. You know what I mean? You think independently. You. They're trying to like show off something that you've already built. It's like they're trying to show off, pretend that they did something when playing the victim, right? When you catch them playing the victim when they get exposed. Jesus, Satch. That's the truth, Spirit saying. Ooh, they mimic you. It's almost like they mimic you, what you say, word for word, voices. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's like this person duplicating everything you fucking say. Everything you fucking do. Build a bitch. Try to step up the ladder on the things that you have said. Your words, your intelligence, your knowledge. Jesus, Saj. Yes. Trying to like come off like it was oh geez okay in this particular deck it does not have In this deck, the emperor is the empress. In this deck, the emperor is feminine. Trying to, like, use your words to build themselves up. What you do, your intelligence, your wisdom, your growth, to make them supreme over you holy god get a life because you are getting wish fulfillment they wish 
that they could be you, but they cannot acknowledge you. They can't give you credit for nothing, yet they'll steal at your words, your intelligence. I can't stand people. Your wealth. They're trying to make money off of what you do, say, be. The death card is here. Trying to transform uh, themselves. They may even be paying money, uh, Sagittarius, to... I don't know. They could be doing body transformations even to look like you, be like you, sound like you. Holy crap. Yes. 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 They want to take over everything about you. This is sick energy. I can't stand it. It's like they want to pull you down so they, they can rise up. Because you're so inspiring, Sagittarius. And they feel small. If you see in this... Uh, deck it's like the feminine is more focused in on the feminine but they want to be bigger than the feminine of whom they got the idea from who they they're a major build a bit here i'm sorry yes they are oh 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 Because you have so many options, like in making money, you have so many opportunities to grow, so many opportunities available to you. So many people love you, and they feel in lack. They play the victim. They're playing victim. Look, they're doing mimicking you they're mimicking you Because quite actually, they feel small. That could be belittling, like belittling you. And you may have got the hell out of a situation. Realize something. Move on. There's three people, like they got power in numbers here. <laughs> Immature. Three voices to attack. Queen of voices, see? Gossip, gossip, gossip. Look, look, look. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. They'll never be you. He's a Sag. Oh my God. It's all about it's a boomerang effect.
It's all about money, inspiration. And they're going through a tower. They're in devil energy, whoever this is, and they're going through a tower. They're in their emotions, they, you know, and then they claim, I want justice, it's not fair. Looking at things as the glass half empty. Playing victim, they backfired on them and now they're playing victim. Everyone feels sorry for me, an attention getter. Doing it, tried it positively, didn't work. So then they go for the negative approach, you know? And it backfired on them. Sagittarius, what is the advice for Sag? Two-faced, man. Sagittarius. Jesus, Sag. It's all over this king of freaking wands, you know? You are the Empress. Now you've had to face your fears, Sagittarius. Like I said, strength. See, this one talking shit. This one talking to the King of Wands. This is that. Selfish, greedy energy. Jesus. I don't know, Saj. Stuck in a commitment. Options. Don't want this person having any options, Saj. Look. You got nothing to hide. You are just a natural beauty. You are strong. You're confident. You don't got to show off, Sagittarius. You're just like truly authentic. You look good clothed. You look good naked. Whatever. You're pure. Oh, Jesus. So this one goes to the King of Wands, this self-serving self uh, Queen of Swords, goes to the King of Wands, puts them in fear, says all the negative things, says all uh, hurtful things, claims to be telling the truth, claims... Something isn't fair here. Something about work, what you're working on. So maybe somebody's job come to an end or it's affecting someone's career or it is affecting someone's livelihood here. And they go, it's not fair. They got caught up in whatever rumors or gossip that they were spreading about you, Saj. So they go, it's not fair. Uh, this is this is going to be the end of my career. This is going to be the end of my work. Maybe they got fired. Causing shit. I don't know, Saj. This is crazy. Yeah, work. Somebody could have lost their job. And they go, it's not fair. I lost my job. Or I lost this contract. Or I lost this my position. Playing the victim. Yet they did it. They're a fool. Spirit says, um, pay these fools no, no mind, Saj. They're no minds. They're just manipulating, causing confusion, you know, and putting confusion in this King Wands' heads. 
this is a feminine who goes to the king of wands. Oh, feel sorry for me. I'm the victim here. I've been victimized. Yet they're the ones who did it. Oh, I'll talk to them. I'll make everything all right. Yet this person, it's causing this person nothing but stress causing them nightmares, causing them to be up at night, worrying, stress the hell out. You're just shining, Sagittarius. You're inspired. And this, who are you going to be? Oh, who are you going to be loyal to? Who are you going to be allegiant to? They're putting this king of, wands in the middle of a cat fight that Sagittarius is not involved in in the first place. So they form alliances with other people to talk shit about you. See, I told you Sag was doing this. See, I told you Sag was saying that. It's not fair. I lost my job or I've lost money. And that's what this king of wands or King of Pentacles is worried about with all the bullshit you're starting and all the bullshit that's going on I could lose some money here they're pissed off at this energy for refusing to see that it's affecting their energy all the bullshit, so this is a masculine caught in a feminine dynamic of a warring. But this feminine is playing the victim because they tried to attack Sagittarius, a major build-a-bitch, and it's backfired on them. Now they're playing the victim, putting the King of Wands in the middle of who you're going to be legion to. Who are you going to be loyal to? Who are you going to choose? Putting the pressure on them. You better stand up for me. You better speak up for me. Who are you going to form allegiances to? Who are you... <laughs> Sag is not even looking. They're looking at their coin. Look. Nurturing their finances here. Nurturing... Jesus. Well, a sense of humor ain't going to get him out of this. This person goes from being friendly to angry. Depressed. Shallow. Because you're a star. You actually could be a star. Just saying. You're being seen, put it that way, if you're not an actual star, but some of you are, I can tell. And I know that you are. It is not fair to this masculine energy. Okay? This is a feminine wife, or they're in a commitment with this person. They're so jealous of the Empress that they're doing the most yet they're making money off them trying to imitate them and then when they get too many people involved with the gossip they try to use this to make this masculine feel sorry for them yet they set themselves up for it they tried to go on the attack and enlist many people to do so to go against this Empress Stabbing you in the back. Look, man. Gossip. Rumor. Who are you going to be? Who are you going to form allegiance to? Who are you going to believe? You're going to believe all this? Gonna be, the one who's getting hurt here is the masculine. In this read. 
people are now turning on this masculine because they may have defended this feminine who is playing the victim role and everybody knows that it's full they're full of shit people aren't that dumb they see a lot more than you realize you're the empress over here minding your own business you're either in another relationship or you're single now you could be like a celebrity you could be like someone who gets a lot of attention you could be on a social media platform or something like that okay so then this one goes out solicits all their little friend group to go against this empress energy who is the empress they've been making money off off copying their ideas and then they go for the full gusto let's take them down let's take them down well who's getting hurt in all this story because this masculine obviously felt sorry and sided for this karmic and they are a karmic to be operating in that vibrational energy they are a karmic um Yeah, that's who's, they're angry that they got involved with this situation. They're angry that they got in, listen to this one who is playing the victim. Because they're the ones who started all the gossip, all the rumors in the first freaking place. Put them in a position where they had to make a choice. Who are going to be loyal to? Going to be loyal to me? Going to be loyal to Sad? They're the ones that are going to go down and so is this karmic because everybody's turning against this karmic and starting to gossip about them of what they're doing. But now it's involving this masculine. People are talking about them in a negative way because they sided with this karmic. told you you were heaven sent because you're loving because you're nurturing because you had this partner because you had this contract or because you had this soulmate hmm you're a leader. You're an inspiration, Sag. And because they're in lack, this, I told you, it's either Gemini or playing the victim. I told you. This, this is a jerk, a fool. This lover is playing the victim. Oh, Sagittarius is talking about me. Sagittarius is spreading rumors. Who are you going to be loyal to? Who are you going to be uh, forming an allegiance with? Are you going to defend me? Are you going to so this freaking masculine is being put um, to the test here. Who are they going to be loyal to? Who are they feeling allegiance to? That's why they're going to go through a tower. Because this masculine is not going to jeopardize their own job, their own career, their own reputation to support this victim lover. There's going to be a heartbreak here. <sighs> Somebody could be moving out of a house. They regret. This is embarrassing. It's put this masculine in a war. of having to choose their partner who is heaven sent or choose the person that they're married to in a relationship with they're embarrassed this is the whole situation is an embarrassment to this masculine 
and they are fighting and arguing about it and they see this one's all about the build a bitch they're all about the coin they could be married to this person they could be the wife decide they wear the pants in the family this is the karmic this is a toxic build a bitch who wants to wear the pants in the family here they can they want control of this masculine the money what sagittarius does says bees whatever they do they wear the pants in the family they're just letting this masculine think they're in charge they're not in charge I told you reputation this is who you're going to be loyal to who you're going to form allegiance to who are you going to support showing face here um what will the community think this is trying to do something to save face here Actually, this masculine has a lot of respect for you, high honor and integrity toward you, Sagittarius, but they're not allowed to talk to you. Mm -mm. I told you, you were over here single, abundant. And this person... They owe you a freaking apology is what they owe you for being a liar, a sneak thief. I know that's the truth. <laughs> this person is fucking two-faced. They got two faces, man. They got two truths. One for Sagittarius and one for this other person or one for their family. I don't know. I don't like their energy one bit. You've had to set up boundaries, Sagittarius. This is getting overwhelming here. You've had to be the one to make the change. I told you, because this one and their friend group has been nothing but a fucking burden. These are busybody, nosy effers who keep involving themselves because guess what? They're jealous of the high priestess's gifts. Jealous of the high priestess's intelligence, your change, your come up. Look at them. Fucking jealous of you, Saj. Can't stand people sometimes. Don't they grow the F up and be authentic and get their own ideas and be the ins be their own inspiration? I know people do that, this copycat energy, but it sure is pathetic. Everybody has their own uniqueness. Why not just be unique? Why not be who you are meant to be? Why do you got to spend so much time imitating Sagittarians? Can't stand it. Like, just you everybody can be a success you don't have to resort to this kind of crap you just don't have to it's a it's backfiring on them because they're going to lose this masculine anyway being so all it's doing is making the empress look more valuable more precious that's what it's doing all this backbiting going on here
they did it to themselves. They This is an energy who can dish it out, but they can't take it. When everybody starts turning on them and their friends start turning on them because they know they're a damn fake, a two-faced person, then they play the victim to get attention. See? It's crazy. It's not working because they're going to lose this masculine doing it. So what was all the fighting for in the first place? People, be unique. I mean, they have a partnership, but you had a spiritual partnership, which is two completely different things. This one is out of convenience. This is based on shallowness and materialism. This is based out of pure 100% love. <coughs> so there's no comparison. This is a shallow relationship. Shallow, surface level, uh, what it appears like to the public. Mm. Get your own uniqueness is the answer. It's backfiring on this, these feminines who are collaborating. It's backfiring on them. They're going to end up losing this masculine being as witchy as what they are. They're being witches, man. Like in nature. I'm not saying actual witches, although they might be. <laughs> but I mean, it's the words they speak. It's their low vibrational qualities. It's vindictiveness. It's when it all costs. But they're losing. Being that way. So keep being that way. You're making Saggy rich. That's what you're doing. Take care, Saj.